this sense allow us to create static lists to pull from within our application. If we have dropdowns such as days of the week or months of the year throughout the app, or if we start creating, say, static lists and dropdowns, we might make spelling errors or other kinds of capitalization errors. With a, an option set, it's a central location to pull a list of options and to populate your dropdowns. Let me show you how it's done. So over in the data tab, on the option sets tab, I have an option set of skills. I have defined the various skills that I want to attach to my users. I don't want users to create their own skills. I want them to select from this list. This is a list that I control. To create a new option, you just type it in here. And we can also do other things such as create attributes to attach to these particular things as well. An attribute is just another piece of data. So we could say icons. Icons could be images. And then for the management skill option, we could attach an icon and we can display that icon in, for instance, a repeating group. Why don't we look at how we can add skills to Caleb Carrera, who is a brand manager in the branding team, how we can add some skills to his record using two techniques. First of all, a dropdown, and second of all, a clickable repeating group. So the dropdown is the easy one. Let's start there. So this is what an option set replaces, a static choice list. Because if I type management, I might type it there correctly, but if we have the same dropdown somewhere else in the app, which is very likely, maybe my list will be slightly different. Maybe I've written it on a piece of paper somewhere and I'm trying to populate these same lists. This is where option sets are really handy because now we can choose a dynamic choice, okay? We can choose the skills list in the option set that I created here. So we just need to point to skills and we, we're going to say all skills. We can do things like filter out certain, certain skills if we want, things like items until number five, all of these options. And then we're just going to display this piece, the display. What is the display? It's this text. So now we have all of those option set options. Nice and neat. So if I wanted to update his user record, I drop in a button. And I would say add. I would make changes to thing, which is the current user. And here I have skills and I would simply add, because we're dealing with a list, I would add the dropdown's value. Okay, dropdown B, let's update that, dropdown skills. In the database, what I had done is in the user record, I have a new field called skills and that is a list of skills. Now this is a list of the option sets skills here. So you would find your option set from this dropdown. In my instance, it was skills. You would check this box to say it's a list of entries. It's not one skill. We want two or more. Okay. So now we can simply add the skills in there. So if I chose so he's in team brand, let's say visual identity, if I add that, and then if I add SEO, let's go over into the database and look at Caleb's data. There it is, visual identity and SEO. We can also display the skills in a repeating group. So set my type of content to my option set, 
I then said, show, show me all of the options because I want Caleb to be able to pick from all of the options. In the cell, I'm displaying the display of that option set, which is basically the name. And then on this icon, what I'm going to say is I'm going to create a conditional that says when current cells, sorry, when current user skills contains current cells skills, then change the icon. Change it to, for instance, a check mark. Maybe change the color. There's one, and there's another one. I'm not going to talk about the process of actually making these clickable because that is covered in one of my other courses when we deal with states. But option sets are a super handy way to create conformity throughout your application and should use them where possible. Aside from that, they're also much faster because you're not accessing the database. This is in the user's browser. So go ahead and replace all of your static lists with option sets.